Good day, this is David Gamma from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. And today we're going to be tying a blood midge or rock worm, as some places they're called. And they're found all over. Uh, brilliant red color, and those fish can see that coming from a long ways. Real great pattern in tailwater fisheries, too. Got a little scud over here, too. So we'll get to the vise and we'll tie this baby up. Okay, so we're going to tie a blood midge. This is a tungsten beadhead blood midge that uh, is real effective in a lot of the streams and uh, lakes in the Black Hills. can also be we fished it on the North Platte, South Platte, Bighorn River, a lot of still water fisheries. Great pattern, very easy to tie and something to get warmed up with. Recommend tying these in uh, brilliant red like we have here, just like that you saw on the, on the picture olive and cream uh, very good patterns okay we'll get started here take this guy out of the vise and we will set this up we have a uh, size 14 here and this is a uh, tamco 2457 with a bright metallic red tungsten bead a 332nd and these come in a various of sizes too, so you can tie them smaller or bigger. And we're going to start off with 70 dinner red ultra thread. I'm going to tie the thread right behind the bead here and get us started. And then work our thread to the back of the hook. Get a good thread base down. And you can take this even beyond the barb. Okay, we'll run that thread right back up. And we're going to be setting in D-rib. And what we have here is D-rib. This is a small blood red. And the shape of this has a dome on one side and a flat side. And looks something similar to this when looking down the end of this piece. So we have kind of a shape shape like a D. And just make sure that the flat side is down. And you're going to butt that right up against the bead there. Take this right over the top to capture that. And then take some wraps towards the back. And as you do so, just kind of pull tight on that D rib. Get a nice thin taper. Wind that quite a few ways back. Then take your thread forward. Park it right behind the bead. And again, make sure that this D-rib, the dome is up and the flat part is down. And wind this forward. We'll turn that upside down to kind of get a little bit of access to it. Consecutive turns all the way back. Pull that material straight out, bring the thread right up through the gap. Okay, go around there about three times. And then hold the material straight up. Cut that off right behind the bead. Make a few more wraps, kind of build up a little bit of thread behind the bead. Take your whip finish. And you can still build up quite a bit of knots right here. I actually put about three to build that head up so that the bead does not slide back. And yeah, do one more. And that's good and secure. That's it. We have our tungsten bead blood midge or rock worm. And this pattern is really, really effective. Very easy to tie. Great pattern for beginner. But don't underestimate this. It's a real productive uh, nymph. Again, thanks again. This is David Gamut from Dakota Angler and Outfitter.